y'all, how you doing? It's me, Matt. I want to talk about something real quick with you. The reason, or this topic, is about why it's hard to change. And I've done this before. Correction, I talked about it before. But this is going to be kind of a quick, basic level on a scientific, neurological level of why it is tough to change and what happens when you're changing kind of affects your life. Before I get into that, I got to drink some water. Stuff, smart water. Ah, and before I get into it, I gotta drink some coffee because it's kind of woke up not long ago. I kind of need to get my mind right, so yeah, whatever. I put apple cider vinegar in that sucker. Ugh. Anyways, whew, okay. So when you have habits, when you've done things a certain way for a long time, what happens is you have deeply ingrained um, neural pathways in your brain, okay, and neurons, all right, and that when you do something, be how you talk, when you eat, when you wake, where the hell it is, you're feed, feeding that neuron, that neural pathway, okay, you're doing something, so at this point, it's almost like a chemical rush or, or an addiction to you at that point, which is why if you continue to want to learn new things after a certain point, you literally cannot stop because it because that point you have this neuron that loves to learn that you develop this neural pathway in your brain that when you stop learning and you cut it off you will feel off you feel weird like you ever know something that we don't do your usual morning routine like you don't get coffee in the morning or whatever your habit is if you don't do it you feel off for the rest of the day okay like for me when I wake up in the morning I am really I'm used to unless it's unless unless I tell myself that I'm not going to I'm used to working out in the morning before I work before I do really do anything major for the day unless I tell myself okay that Monday or Saturday or whatever I'm not working out I'm not working out that day if I wake up in the morning do not work out I feel off it's just weird I can't focus I feel a little bit more tired I'm like it just fucks me up the whole day and I just feel off until I finally do it then I'm like oh I'm back on track. The reason being is because I've made it such a habit. I have neural pathways, neural pathways deeply ingrained in my brain and with neurons that are fed off of working out before anything major. If I don't do that, they go, what the fuck are you doing? We're not being fed. You haven't done this. And I feel off. Same thing with you and anything else you do. You have a habit. It is addicting. Well, I'll say addicting to you because if you don't do it, you kind of feel off. Which is why when you're trying to do a new habit, it's tough. Okay, and get this. When you have this big neuron on a habit you've been doing for a long time, it is huge and it just craves attention. Say the habit of, um, let's say smoking, okay? Keep, keep it simple, smoking. You have these neurons in your body's physically addicted to smoking, the nicotine. When you're trying a new habit, or in this case, quit smoking, you have a small neuron. Small, 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 small one. This one's just getting started, doesn't really need a whole lot of attention, it's just, eh, it's chilling there. When you divert the attention from the big, from the old big neuron, start a new habit to grow the other neuron, to make it bigger, 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 what happens is this, you cut off the energy and tension from the big one, and it starts freaking the fuck out, it's going, what are you doing, you can't do this, come back to me, I need it, I need it, I need, it. I need my energy, I need attention, it's like, it's like freaking out, which is why you have this urge to go back to what you're doing before, and it's so tough, you're, you're literally being pulled back to that, because the neurons are firing off, left and right, saying like, because they're not getting that rush, that kind of rush that they, that they literally need to survive, because if they don't get it, they die off, slowly over time, but they die off, so the challenge is, continuing to do the habit to grow the the teeny tiny baby neuron to keep that growing and growing and growing and growing and growing and growing and growing so that one the old one dies off and two this new one the positive one helps you out and that one becomes your habit and you keep doing it over and over and over again it comes deeply ingrained into you and who you're doing over time then if you don't do the new habit that you, that you, that you, that you just that you just develop it you kind of feel off and that's why it's hard to change on a neurological level. You're literally growing new neural pathways in your brain that need time to grow until they get big enough so that they take over, so that you're used to that, to the old one. That's what makes it hard. You're, you're fighting, literally fighting, like it's almost like David and Goliath. You are having this huge thing that needs all the attention and craves it and it's really hard to resist. 
and the small, eeny, weeny, teeny, tiny baby neurons are like, eh, I'm good, I don't need much. That's the challenge. So you have to have them. That's why it takes discipline and persistence, persistence in doing what you got to do to make sure that the old one, over time, slowly dies down, gets smaller, 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 and then, then dies off. While at the same time, the new one gets bigger and bigger, 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 and get new neural pathways that are getting deep in your new brain again and again and again, and over time, you do it over and over and over. And that's a trick. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, changing is tough. And the only time change seems to be easy is when you're forced and you have no choice. It's uncomfortable because you're doing something different because the like I said, you're killing off the old neural pathways, and that's why it's uncomfortable. Like, ah, you're uncomfortable, and it sucks to get used to it. Then you have new neural pathways because you've adapted to the new change. So, like I said, that's why, it's, that's why it's tough to change. So, ladies and gentlemen, now you know how it works on a scientific level. Keep that in mind, and if you're trying to, trying to do new habits, keep building that new neural pathway and keep doing what you're doing. I'll talk to you soon. Deuces.